This week in GTA Online, there is some pretty special spooky events that can occur throughout the lobbies. Two events were added, one being the Phantom Car event and the other being the Halloween Slashes event. For the Phantom Car event, there is a likely chance that a D-Class Tornado will randomly appear behind you during your game. If you are in a vehicle while this event occurs, as you can see in the gameplay, the vehicle will simply leave you be and stalk you, whereas once you are out of the vehicle, it will catch fire and then begin to try and kill you. Now for this event to actually spawn, first off you must be around free roam and not using any aircrafts, boats or weaponized vehicles as well as the oppressor back to or the oppressor or this event will not spawn for you. Now if you stay around the areas of the city between around 9pm to 5am it will spawn. There also must be two players in that lobby and keep in mind that the more players there is the less chance of getting this event as the vehicle will spawn on any player in that lobby. That's why I recommend getting a friend in a jet and have you on the ground for the event to work for you. Once you've done this the vehicle may spawn for you. Now keep in mind if you do get too far away from the vehicle the event will despawn. Now as for this slasher event this one is pretty different. There is a total of five different enemies that can spawn each based from popular horror movies. Now same thing applies here it must be around 9 p.m to 5 a.m for them to actually spawn and you can't also be in the vehicles that we were mentioned. Now once done there is a chance a killer will appear and try to kill you. Keep in mind that these guys are very very powerful and do take a lot of damage so don't think they are just an easy one shot kill because they most definitely aren't. This can also be done in any type of session such as a solo or an invite so don't worry about having any players to help you with this one. Now if you do get killed or if you kill the slasher then the event will disappear. The main areas for these slashers to spawn is in the main city area around here as well as up in the Blaine County areas such as Polito Bay. Anyway guys, I hope this did help you guys out with these two new events that were added with the Halloween surprise update this week. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.